Hi everyone, Sandra from ForYourTree.com here with your weekly tarot and oracle card reading for June the 3rd through June the 9th of 2019. And I should have the link for my protection video up this evening. It's recorded June 2nd on Sunday. Hopefully I'll have it up uh, this evening for you because as I've posted already, the energies are here. They're apparent on everywhere I, I'm looking. People are telling me stories. I'm seeing evidence of it on the road. Um, you, I just want everyone to know that you don't have to be a victim. You can call in your own protection and you can totally opt out of all of that drama and chaos. You do not have to be involved in it, which is great. You can take control of your own future and that's why I'm here to bring forth that information. It's worked for me, it's worked for my clients for many, many years and it works in amazing ways. So I'm making the video $24. I said $26 earlier, but that was the wrong price. I'm making it $24 for the month of June. And then after that, um, it's gonna go up almost double. And that's only because of the valuable information, and the content in the video, you are getting how to protect your children at school or in other places, how to protect their schools and respective daycares, how to protect yourself. Um, from any encounter, any ill will, any darkness whatsoever, any negativity. It's important for people to protect themselves if they're around someone who's negative, a family member, or someone that's sick or having a hard time so that it doesn't affect you or your children. How to protect from nightmares, how to protect your pets to keep them on your property. And I have amazing stories of how this actually works in real life, true stories myself and my clients. Okay, so talking about last week's reading, I got a text message from someone, I heard from two people actually, but I heard from someone yesterday, my client who I adore, my friend and client, it's a great person, um, that she couldn't keep her eyes open. And I said, do you remember what the video said last week that we were gonna need extra rest and receiving downloads from the universe? And she said, you're right. I." I watched it as soon as you posted it, but I forgot about it. So she's definitely receiving the downloads. And let me tell you, I received the downloads too. Amazing. It happened yesterday afternoon. It came out of the blue. But for about two hours, I had pure clarity. Um, and that's only happened to me one other time and it, uh, in 2011. But um, let me, I just had the only way that I can describe it I had access to infinite intelligence for two hours yesterday while the downloads came through. And I know now what I need to do, what direction I need to take my spiritual teaching. Um, and I just leveled up. That's all I can say. The messages are coming from a higher place. They've, they've always come from a high place, but the only way I can describe it is the messages have leveled up. And you'll see it come through in these videos and you'll see it come through in my readings one-on-one uh, -on -one readings, and a, apparently I'm going to do a lot more spiritual teaching than I am right now, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm not, I never thought of myself as a spiritual teacher on any kind of platform or anything like that, but apparently that's the direction um, that I'm headed because that, those are the messages that I'm receiving, so I can't wait for this exciting adventure to unfold. Okay, so the messages this week it's, I don't want to say it's a continuation of last week, but we're building. It's that level up that I was talking about. You did get the downloads last week, even though you may not remember what you received. I have movements, choices, and decisions for Monday, Tuesday this week. And this means that you are trying to decide now that you've received the information, um, you are doing your homework regarding the information that you've received, and that's a very good thing. And the card for midweek, Wednesday, Thursday, Fulfillment of Wishes card, this is the Nine of Cups in traditional tarot. It means that you are getting what you have asked for, and some of you aren't getting all of it. Some of you are getting pieces of it. Some of you are getting all of it, but then others are, of you are getting signs um, and synchronistic images, synchronistic things that pop up into your uh, everyday life where it's sort of an inkling of what's around the corner. So even if you're not get, if you don't think that you're getting what you want or what you need, you're getting signs and messages that it's around the corner. You're, 
you're seeing land soon. You're on a boat, you're start, starting to see twigs and birds, that land is near. And that's also a very good thing. All right, so your card for the weekend is emotional withdrawal. And this means that you are incorporating more of the downloads that you re of information that you've received last week um, and that you do need to take time out and meditate, preferably by a body of water. If you can, that would be ideal. Okay, I pulled three oracle cards this week, and I normally pull two, but something told me to pull two from this angel deck and then one from Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Avalon. So we're going to do Wisdom of the Avalon last. But from Messages from Your Angels, um, no, sorry, Daily Guidance from Your Angels, my bad, new partner comes up. So this card says pay attention to the who the universe introduces you to. And the last time that I received this message was in 2001, strangely enough, excuse me, 2011, the same year that I had that incredible um, download happen to me for three days where I had access to infinite intelligence and I just knew the answer to everything, absolutely every question. There was no doubt about it. I had the answer. Um, I met a very important person that year and that person is a very good friend of mine right now, and she's an amazingly accurate psychic. And I just think of our first meeting, Chance Encounter, which was not chance, it was not coincidental. Um, it was very deliberate, and I didn't go out of the house. I was at home, and she just randomly showed up at my door. <laughs> And she didn't even know why she was there. But um, when we got to talking and she said she was a psychic and she looked at my cards that were laying out on the table and I never leave them out on the table and we started talking and we've been friends ever since. So that's the kind of thing that happens where someone is just in front of you and you're not expecting it. And you may be a little annoyed or irritated because you weren't expecting to meet someone and have a long conversation. But it ends up being an awesome thing. And this is great news for those of you who are trying to uh, bring in a partner or who are, who've been waiting, who've done the affirmation that I talk about in my relationship video. This is great news. This is exciting, you guys. All right. And then we have reward yourself. So this is all about taking care of yourself. You've worked hard. You're tired. You may need to reward yourself with another nap or a sea salt bath or a massage or a pedicure or do whatever it is that you've been thinking of doing that you've been putting off and saying, I don't have that time um, or I don't want to spend the extra money. It's time. Your body is calling you. Okay. Now I pulled a third card and I don't feel like this is for the general population. I just feel like it's for one or a couple of you. I pulled ego. Okay. The goblin card means ego. So this means that someone out there um, is letting an incident with someone, I'm trying to find the right words here, they've quarreled with someone. They have quarreled with someone from their past and they think they're in the right and they're hanging on to that, this information. They're hanging on to what they said and what they did and you know, they're right, right, right. But actually, you're not right. And you're not right because the, the way that you came about the information that you have um, relayed to this person in this argument was actually, some of it was not true. It was false because your ego was rampant that day. So you got to let that go. You got to let that ego part go because you really need this person in your life. They've done a lot for you in the past. They will continue to do a lot for you. And you're actually harming yourself by pushing that person away. So this is not someone who has um, taken from you. You know, sometimes we get in relationships where it's abusive because the other person uses us. Um, or takes too much and doesn't give. This is actually a very giving, loving relationship that you have cut off because of your ego. 
okay, so you got to let that go. Let it go. Call and wave the white flag, truce, apologize, and make it right. All right? I don't think I've ever delivered a message like that in a YouTube reading, but here it is. Um, it's the first time for everything, and apparently there's going to be lots more first times with me in these readings. All right, so thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and share this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel. You just have to hit subscribe. There's no money necessary, and you get an inbox whenever I upload a new reading. Hopefully you guys have listened to my uh, episode 9 and 10 podcast, part 1, part 2 of numerology. It's very interesting, and I'm not done talking about it. I might have two more episodes after this just of numerology. All right, so thanks so much for watching, and have a great, great week, everyone. Bye-bye.